I'm just gonna take a little rest. Just for a minute. Why do I, re seriously. Did I have four pairs of glasses on my head? That can't be right. I think I had four pairs of glasses on my head. <laughs> oh, that can't be right. That's insane. Only a crazy person. There's not enough cats. Clearly we need more cats. One of the children actually suggested that to me. That we need more cats. I think we're good. Okay, we gotta we gotta face this. This is what we have to face. Oh no! Please help me. Please help me. Okay, so I chipped my tooth a few years ago, just a tiny tiny bit on my upper left corner, and it was fine. They they were able to just kind of smooth it out. It wasn't a big deal. But over the years, it has continued to just chip little by little by little. And it's getting to the point where, you know, they need to do something about it because it's going to really interfere with the integrity of the tooth, which is not good. They're going to repair that this week. I'm not a big bright white teeth person, but I drink coffee. So I figured to, to don't scratch the chair. That's, you don't have to do that. I figured probably a good time to go ahead and, and wipe my teeth. Oh, also, I started cleaning out this closet. Just, just, can everybody just a little space, a little personal space, just a little personal space. Anyway, where was I? I'm sorry. So, so it was a busy week. So I didn't get much furniture work done this week, but uh, I am whitening my teeth today. And I have emptied out a closet, which has created a, a gorgeous mess and also tripping hazard for the entire family. Also, maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up next. Get your thoughts, maybe an opinion, if you have one and would like to share it. The cats are here, they're helping. <laughs> well, let's go check it out. <laughs> That's a lot of crap. This is the catch-all. Picking up pillows. Okay, so here's how this closet works. I'm gonna explain to you how this closet works. Because it's a special closet. It's probably just like any other closet. So to the left here, we have some shelves, you know, games, etc. And then up on the top there, obviously we've got shelves. We're hanging some stuff over here. And then there's just the, the body of the closet. But as you can see, this closet has a little bit of under the stair storage under there, that dark area back there. So we've got a little under the stair cubby space back in there for things that we don't need that often. That's code for you're never gonna ever use it again because it's gonna go back into the dark recesses of this closet and you're going to just forget that you had it, but you'll have it. So there's comfort in that. Okay, this is a giant thing of wallpaper that can go out to the workshop. Holy smoke. Here's a an old lampshade. Definitely need to keep that. Just kidding. Ooh, resistance band for people who like to exercise. Sleeping bag for people who like to camp. There's a boot in case anybody breaks their leg again. Can I, I'm gonna donate this for sure. Hot doggies, hot doggies, hot doggies. <laughs> Light, something everyone needs in their hall closet. Oh, here's a zombie costume, one of the children made. A nod to the opening scene with Sheriff Rick and the little girl zombie with the bloody slippers. So cute. Oh, I've got a loot. In case anyone needs a loot. Trumpet, nobody's ever gonna be playing. Ah. Why do we have to have this huge music stand? This one's always on the verge of injuring me somehow. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. 
go. That was close. Okay. <laughs> Mirrored tiles hiding in the back with a pretty impressive chip. <laughs> oh, winning at parenting. Such a good mom. There's some more crap, there's some more crap, some other crap, that crap. Legos! Aw, makes me sad. The Legos came from under here where I think there's some other. Oh, look at that. Yeah, some kind of little kid thing. Why am I storing this now? My youngest is 15. I don't think anyone's gonna play with this. Ooh, Pilates. Ooh, yes. I'll use that for sure. All right, anything else? What? Oh my goodness. This rolled out from, from under here where we had some uh, Legos and other like little kid figurine toys. I have found an Easter egg. <laughs> Should we see what's inside of it? Oh, jelly beans. This is this is from at least last year. Do you dare me to eat one? It's not even stale. Preservatives. It's good to know if we ran out of food, we could probably sustain the family for a couple of weeks on the contents of Easter eggs that are uh, currently unfound and floating around the house. <laughs> Decor. Oh, good streamers. Blue streamers. This is just what we need. Oh, it's the Hot Wheels. Wrapping paper. Pineapple candlestick washed flour. Ah, tissue. This is actually, I'm constantly looking for tissue paper. So that was a good find. Oh, someone's very cute graduation photo. Look at that red hair. <laughs> yep, he's a ginger. Okay, more. There's that. Oh my goodness. There's some artwork. And you know what? I'm just not gonna even tackle this right now. I've got part of a table and another leaf of a table and then some paintings and things. Why are you so pleased with life? All right, everything's out of the closet now. It's a giant mess out here. Dog toy, dog toy, dog toy, cat toy, dog diaper. Are you missing some dog toys? I'm so sorry, we have them here. They're here. They were in my closet. You can come and get them. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Also, I do have Easter candy. And lots of tissue. St. Patrick's Day stuff. Why? Why? So many fond memories of family fights with my sisters. That was a classic. Obligatory Uno game. What's this now? So these are the puzzles we've done. Okay, we've this, done these puzzles. They're okay. all been open Great. and so they're assembled. Gonna, great, so we can donate. Donate. Okay, and those are the ancestral violins. times table thing from the 70s. What is seven times four? It's 28. 
Isn't that great? A puzzle that I had made for John. That's the cake that the girls made for their dad. It's a construction paper cake. That's concentration. That was a favorite. Pick up sticks to That's Harry Potter trivia. Oh, cribbage. Cribbage. Cards Against Humanity, a party game for horrible people. It's a classic. Scrabble. I always win at Scrabble. Can't argue. And nobody ever plays backgammon. I grew up playing backgammon. I did not. We were not a backgammon family. Therefore, backgammon. Not to be played. Does not count. <laughs> want everything to be able to be visible, right? It's so aggravating when you can't see what it is, but I think this is okay, because that's just one thing. A toy horse. No house should be without one. <laughs> well, I take it for keeping those. Look how cute they look. Because we have consolidated. We have got a whole empty shelf, which let's face it, is like gold, found gold. It's like we've just mined pearls. Golf course club something. Got that when I went golfing and I got it because I thought of you. I didn't have sunscreen and I thought I better protect my head. Thank you for thinking of me. That's me standing on the top of a horse. Hunting. VHS. I know, and that's a DVD player on top of it, right there. I spent the last 10 minutes trying to decide about this chicken. It kind of always makes me think of the Terminator. <laughs> I would be buck buck. Now I think I, I can't get rid of you. That was just too much fun. Why don't you guard all the technology? It's perfect. Oh, gotta hydrate. I'm all scared. For when farm animals come back in. And then there's our metal cat. This used to scare our dog Rudy so much. The funny thing is that I think my mom gave us the metal chicken and John's mom gave us the metal cat. So I think they should just hang out up here together guarding the technology. Hopefully they don't get into any chicken cat spots. Metal decor is better, obviously. Hey guys, wood decor is better. Now metal is way hipper and cooler. It implies edge and modernity. But wood is enduring and sincere. You guys are so lame. You wish you were us. <laughs> That's not nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> day and the closet is all cleaned out and the room is put back together and I am just feeling so fantastic. My teeth definitely look whiter or the placebo effect of using that whitening strip has done its job. Either way, either way it's fine. What kind of friends are you hanging out with me while I clean that closet? Thank you so much. Uh, you know what? Would you like a little sneak peek of the next fable? Come on, come on, let's go. Here it is. This is a Heppel White style sideboard. As you can see, it is white. It is in pretty good condition. However, we've got some rippling here. We've of course got a few chips and dings. We've got painted hinges. And let's check out that top together. You can see pretty impressive rippling on the top and if you press on it it's pretty hard so that would tend to suggest that the veneer on the top 
is having an issue, not just the paint. It's hard, it's hard to tell, it could be paint, but I wouldn't be shocked if it were the actual veneer. You can see it's chipping and lifting up right there. Even with the rippling on the top and the chips, etc., this isn't a terrible piece. It's, I mean, I, you could clean it off and, and put it in your house and it would, it would look pretty nice, right? But its other problem is that it is a little bit dated, right? This all white look, head to toe, top, drawers, legs, etc all in white with these very, very blingy pulls. Do you remember in the early 2000s, everyone using the word bling constantly? Oh, did you get as tired of it as I did? There's nothing wrong with the word bling, but it, 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 it was overused. It was a little overused, just got a little bit overused. These are very blingy. They're very sparkly. It kind of looks like a wedding gown. It looks like if a bride transformed into a piece of furniture. That's this, she, she would look like this. She's a little bridal. She's a little bridal, right? Yeah. So what shall I do with it? Well, that's where you come in. I would love to hear what you think I should do. The paint is in pretty good condition, except for the top. One option would be to clean it, give it a good scuff sand, and then use this paint to build off of and do another completely painted look. Or I could strip it and try and see if any of the timbers, any of the veneer, uh, any of the solid wood accents are salvageable. I do not know if they are. There is only one way to find out, my friends. <sighs> Either way, whatever I do, I'll probably have to have a plan A, plan B, and a plan C, just because there's uh, there's a lot of unknowns. But I am just dying to know what you would love to see. If it were you, what would you do? Uh, what would you enjoy see happen to this pretty little piece? I already have a preference, I think. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? She's not talking. She's not talking yet. Eventually I guess I'm talking. Flexibility, that's the name of the game. We gotta be flexible. We're adaptable. We're adaptable, we're flexible, right? Right? Yes. Yes, she agrees. <laughs> yeah, so let me know. I can't wait to hear what you think I should do with that solid white bridal sideboard. And don't I owe you another update? If you caught the first fable of this season that covered with stickers, little mid-century modern dresser, uh, you saw the process. Ultimately, it's just whether or not I can like sing and act kind of well. The stress, the drama, which I guess is fair. This is so nerve wracking. The intrigue did it. I did the dang thing, friends. Ooh, I did it. It was not a, lot of, not a lot of intrigue, but I shared about going and auditioning for a role that I really, really wanted to get. And you were there for when I actually read the results, got that email and was told I received that part. I got it. <laughs> so if you're still interested, you've been waiting to find out what was that role? What's the show? It is the one and only Mary Poppins. And no, I am not playing Mary Poppins. <laughs> I am playing the villain. Now, you might be really familiar with, of course, the very, very famous, amazing, wonderful Mary Poppins with the one and only Julie Andrews and Mr. Dick Van Dyke. The stage version is a little bit different. There are a few different characters. There's a few different songs. It's very similar, but there's some differences. And one of them is that there is a character named Miss Andrew. She was Mr. George Banks's nanny and is why he, he's, he has issues. He's had some trauma. She is more than once referred to as the Holy Terror, if that gives you an idea, and I get to play her. <laughs> I'll just bring you some little tidbits here and there as we go and uh, share with you about this process. I'm truly excited. Like I said, it's my first villain on stage. I know, that's not getting old. Thanks so much for joining me, my friends. I will... Wait, did you hear something? Uh, I will see you next time for more Furniture Fables. John? John? <laughs>